Hello guys, very welcome you all again from Dynamic QA. So today the topic that we are going to discuss is what is regression testing. So might be that this term have hit in your mind while preparing for the QA role or QA interview or QA, QA job. So let's see that what is regression testing. In ideal definition, the regression testing ensures us that uh, the bug fixes have not introduced new bugs into the application. So let's understand how this actually works. I have an application build, say build 1. And in build 1, I found some around 10, 15 issues and I given back to the development team. So the development team have fixed these bugs and given me the updated bugs, uh, updated build, say build 2. So what I will do, I will not rerun all to all test cases on build 2, rather I will just check that major functionalities are working fine and the most important is that all reported bugs have been fixed or not. So here the main focus on to retest the bug fixes. So just bug fixing testing will be not enough. So what we will do, we will see that associated functionalities. So here I mean that say the bug was introduced in functionalities A. So I will see that which all functionalities are associated to A which may be impacted after the fixes. To, to just go to the more in depth or uh, to understand in some again a layman language, I will say that suppose the issue in the application login screen. So there is no point of to test the inner functionalities, right? So if the bug fixes were done for the login screen, I will be uh, testing closely around the login screen issues or login screen test cases. So this is how the regression testing works so i have uh, just collected some information and written down and this uh, information is just displayed on your screen just to please uh, just uh, go through once and i'm sure that after this you, you will have very clear idea that what is regression so the next point is that how to perform the regression testing so regression testing is basically performed by the rerunning the affected test cases of the build. Say the functionality, if the build was released due to the bug fixes, what I will do? I will rerun the, to, the test cases which were associated to bug fixes. Next, if the build was released due to the adding new functionalities. So if the new functionalities are added, what about the uh, associated functionality to the new functionality? Say after login the home screen will be displayed, right? So I will what I will do? I will I will check just login the final test cases after that the home screen will be displayed. So here I will be not verifying that username, password, invalid character, valid character because somehow this was tested in some different uh, build. So there is some strategy to perform the regression testing and these strategies are like carefully observe the side effect of the bug so that the, if the bug was uh, introduced in a login screen so what all areas we can focus for the regression. What we'll do again that uh, if the test cases are not written for the bugs, identified bugs, we will write the test cases and try to execute them on the new build. And uh, and again, the, this is also important that we have to see the all core functionalities are still up and working good. And uh, these are not broken down by the bug fixes. Thank you and uh, please do subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you from Dynamic QA.